All right, everyone, Cowboy Trades here. Welcome back to the channel for a quick update on the cryptocurrency market. So Bitcoin, the total cryptocurrency market cap and the altcoin market cap are all sitting right beneath critical areas of resistance. And we've got less than 48 hours until the next weekly candle body close. Are we gonna close beneath these resistances? If we do, what are gonna be my price targets? What's happening in the lower time frames? Let's discuss all of this and more. So first of all, I want to discuss what's happened in the past few days with this bounce that we've seen and has this changed anything? Well, first of all, let's come over to one of the macro charts, which we have been keeping you up to date on, on the channel. This is actually a chart that we drew well over a year ago and we just brought it back on the channel about a month ago. And as you can see, where have we bounced from? We've bounced from this critical trend line right down here at 25,000. Now, this is one reason why we've seen a bounce in the past few days. First of all, the bounce doesn't change anything in the macro time frame. As you can clearly see, since we topped out in early April at 31,000, we've been having red candles, green candles, buying back into lower highs, red, 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 slight green candle making lower highs, red, red, slight green candle making lower highs. It's not only on the weekly that we're making lower highs. If we come over to the daily time frame, pull up the EMA ribbons, pull up the 200 week moving average, you can still see since this high at 31,000, we've still got the same trajectory of highs, lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, and lower highs. And with this most recent bounce, you can see that we've reverted right up to the 200 week moving average, and we've reverted back into the EMA ribbons. And we've also reverted into the heart line of this pattern, which we've been discussing on the channel, the falling wedge. Now, the other day we did break to the downside of this. We had an SFP, also known as a swing failure pattern. Failed move equals a fast move in the opposite direction. It looks like we're just retesting some of these critical areas of resistance before potentially that next move back down. So what are these critical areas of resistance? So if we come over to Bitcoin to start with and we zoom into the price action right now, you can see, like we've been discussing on the channel, Bitcoin has been stuck underneath this 28,000 range. And previously on the channel, we were discussing a very, very tight range between the resistance at 28,000 and the support of the 200 week moving average, which was at 26,600. This was originally a measly $1,400 range in which Bitcoin spent one, two, three, four, five weeks in before breaking to the downside. Now we told you this is such a tight range. Bitcoin is getting squished underneath 28,000, but it's also holding support on the 200 week moving averages. We told you once we break out of this range, we are going to have an absolute whiplash of a move and it's going to happen very, very quickly. And you can see within a week, once we broke beneath the 200 week moving average, we had about a 6.6% whiplash to the downside. But what is happening right now? Previously, the range that we were trading in was a $1,400 range between 28,000 down to 26,600. 26,600 being the 200 week moving average, which was holding as support. What are we doing right now? Well, we're trading within a new range, which is even tighter than before, but 26,600 is not the support. It has flipped as the resistance. This is the critical resistance that Bitcoin is currently underneath. And this is the range that we're trading in. To the upside, as of the time of recording this, Bitcoin is retesting the 200 week moving average. If we come over to the daily, you can actually see we push back up to retest this over on Tuesday, but this was on Tuesday. We haven't had a weekly retest. We haven't had a weekly close right underneath the 200 week moving average since we only broke beneath this last week. So Bitcoin now finds itself under Underneath the critical resistance of the 200 week moving average at approximately $26,530. But this is where things get interesting. We are trading within an absolutely tiny range right now, 26,600 down to the support where the EMA ribbons are and the bull market support bands are. If I clear up the weekly EMA ribbons and clear up everything on the chart, you can see this is the support that we've got right now, 25,900. And to the upside, the resistance is 26,600. So what does this mean? Right now, Bitcoin is trading within a $700 range. And the previous range that we told you when we break, we're gonna have a whiplash of a move was a $1,400 range, extremely tight but right now we're in an even tighter range just look at this we are absolutely sandwiched between the resistance of the 200 week moving average and the support on the bull market support bands and the weekly ema ribbon so when we do finally have that weekly candle body closed 
If we do have it beneath 26,530, I am expecting an absolutely monumental move to come to the downside, not within a couple of months, not within a month, within a week. And to the flip side of that, I do also want to highlight if we do manage to close above 26,530 and it does look like we are holding it as support, I obviously can't ignore that that would have short-term bullish implications and if that does happen, I would potentially be looking for a short-term bounce up to as high as the 28,000 resistance before coming back down. But in my personal opinion, I think Bitcoin closes beneath the 200 week moving average at $26,530 and I think that sets up next week for a sharp move to the downside. Once again, we are trading within an extremely tight range right now and when Bitcoin finally does make a decision, it is going to be absolutely monumental. So what about the rest of the markets? The total cryptocurrency market cap is also beneath the EMA ribbons on the weekly time frame. It's also beneath the bull market support bands. But more importantly, if we come over to the 200 week moving average, you can see we've already retested this at 1.05 trillion and had a sharp move back down to the downside to 1.03 trillion. On the weekly time frame as well, you can see that we are showing major indecision right now with this doji candle underneath this major major area of resistance so in my opinion also the total cryptocurrency market cap is setting up for an absolute whiplash of a move to the downside if we come over to the total altcoin market cap like i've been warning you on the channel we warned you about two months ago that altcoins were extremely weak against bitcoin right now obviously you can see how altcoins have aged in the past two months and six days ago we updated this chart giving you a monumental warning if you are holding altcoins and this is it once again you can see altcoins are miles and miles and miles beneath the weekly EMA ribbons. They're miles beneath the bull market support bands. But more importantly, it's also miles underneath the 200 week moving average up at 550 billion. We're currently trading at 520 billion. But here's where the major resistance comes in for me. Like we've been discussing and keeping you updated on this channel, we had the bull run top up here for the altcoins. We came down and formed this trend line. We came and flipped to the upside of this trend line back in early April. And since then, we broke back down to the downside, retested it, retested it, retested, retested, retested from a lower region every single time. And last week, we finally broke to the downside and closed beneath it. And what have we done this week? On the weekly time frame, we've pumped back up to the trend line, retested it, and now we've got a red doji candle showing major indecision while we're beneath this. So in terms of the altcoin market, this major resistance comes in at 525 billion. We're currently at 519 billion as of the time of recording this. So if Bitcoin closes beneath 26,530, and if the altcoin market cap closes beneath 525 billion, then I think both of these charts are going to get ready for an absolutely monumental whiplash to the downside. What is also going to be supporting this is the fact that once again, Bitcoin's trading within a very tight range right now. If we get rejected from the 200 week moving average, we could have a very sharp move back down to the downside. And if we come over to the Bitcoin dominance, the dominance like we've been predicting on the channel is moving up to our price target up at 52.5%. In my opinion, after we've had this beautiful bull flag breakout, I think we've got about another 6.6% worth of continuation for the Bitcoin dominance. Now, if Bitcoin gets rejected from 26,530, breaks to the downside and the Bitcoin dominance keeps on rising, well, this is going to mean the altcoin holders are going to get absolutely slaughtered, not within a couple of months, but probably in about a week's time, maybe two weeks time if we're going to stretch things out. But really, I think this sharp move is coming very, very soon. So what's happening in the lower time frames and why have we just seen this short term bounce? Well, first of all, we need to put things into perspective. If we are looking at the higher time frames, you can clearly see like we discussed, the macro trend is unchanged. Even on the daily time frame, lower lows and lower highs are still taking place. We did bounce from this crucial trend line, which we have been discussing on the channel, but we actually bounced for a separate reason. We have come down to one of our first price targets, which we have been mentioning on the channel for the past month or so. This is this mini CME gap down here at 24,800. You can see this price gap was made right here and we came down and hit this trend line, meaning that we've now filled this CME gap. So this is potentially another one of the reasons why we bounced and also of course on the weekly time frame you can see it does make a lot of sense to retest the 200 week moving average especially after holding the bull market support bands
Alliance and weekly EMA ribbon to support. This is really the reason why I think we've seen this short-term bounce in the markets. Nonetheless, we've hit one of our first macro price targets. To the downside, the next one I will be targeting is down here at 24,100. This is the head and shoulders price target. In terms of the falling wedge, which we discussed on the channel the other day, you can see we tried to break to the downside of this, had a SFP swing failure pattern, and currently we are just retesting the heart line of this pattern, and we're also retesting the 200 week moving average and the weekly EMA ribbon. So in my opinion, as long as Bitcoin remains underneath the 200 week moving average, we are still setting up for that next major move to the downside. Now, I normally finish off the week by updating all the altcoins individually. We normally have an individual KDA update, Jasmine, Gala, Solana update, and then we come out with our Bitcoin update at the end of the week. Uh, what I'm going to be doing this weekend is I'm just going to be making this one video. I'm going to be waiting for the decision to happen over the weekend on where Bitcoin, the total cryptocurrency market cap, and the altcoin market cap is going to be closing. I'm personally predicting, of course, that the altcoin market cap is going to close beneath this resistance, and if that does happen, I I think some big moves are going to happen very very early into next week which is why i want to wait for the close and then come back on potentially either monday or tuesday and update my thoughts on what is happening in the altcoin market cap but just very very quickly what is happening with these individual altcoins i'm seeing some very very small rallies happening on the lower time frames you know 2.5 three percent moves to the upside i'm seeing crypto twitter get very very excited over these moves and forget what's happened over the past week so Let's come over to the weekly time frame and look at what's happening for these charts. Now, first of all, Solana, one week ago, this was up at $22 and this absolutely landslided. And you can see we're having this very, very small green candle right now. And everyone is getting very, very excited. This is letting me know that the greed has not left the markets. There is still greed for these altcoins. And that greed needs to be punished with a further move back down to the downside. If you've watched my previous Solana videos, KDA videos, Gala, Jasmine, you know my price targets, my thoughts really haven't changed. I just wanted to get some quick thoughts out. If we're coming over to Kadena, you can see things are not even than that hot we went down to about 50 cent bounce back up to 54 cent i haven't seen anyone really get too bullish on this one uh, but in general everything is still playing out for cadena you're still seeing this monumental bleed out to the downside and if we do come over to our major chart we're pretty much just sitting on this huge volume profile support at 50 cents so if the altcoin market cap closes beneath 525 billion things could get pretty ugly and we might even see ourselves moving down to the next volume profile cluster at 32 cent. The same thing with Gala Games. This looks like Solana. This is rushing down to new bear market lows. For the past two weeks, we had some brutal candles and right now we're seeing a absolutely tiny bounce and some people are getting very very excited over this if we come over to our sfp chart for gala games you can see that we just bounced on the listing price for gala over on binance before having a slight pushback up to the upside and if we do draw our fib from low to high it looks like we're coming up for a retest of the 786 fibonacci around about 2.5 cent before that next move back down to the downside if we come over to jasmine you can obviously see the past week we got absolutely annihilated we're seeing a reasonably okay bounce back up to the upside at this moment in time but what are we bouncing back up to we're bouncing right back up to the neckline of this brutal m pattern so this could be playing out a pretty much picture perfect retest of the m pattern neckline you can already see we've had a sharp rejection on the daily ema ribbons right now jasmine looks like it wants to go down to the price target which we highlighted in our previous video a 43 to 44 percent drop all the way down to 0 0.0021 cent. This is my price target in the immediate short term in the next couple of weeks or so. So yeah, like I said, I just wanted to put things into perspective. A lot of people get carried away by what happens day to day. If you zoom out and look at the weekly time frame, you can see that in the past week, we've been absolutely annihilated for these altcoins. These altcoins are getting absolutely decimated and we're just seeing a very, very small bounce right now. And I think it's going to be stopped out at just a very, very small bounce, especially if the total altcoin market cap closes beneath 525 billion. That is going to be the last nail in the coffin and probably stop out the short-term altcoin bounce that we are seeing at this moment in time so once again my friends keep your eyes on bitcoin if we close beneath 26,530 that is a major warning sign if the total cryptocurrency market cap closes beneath 1.05 trillion that is a major warning sign 
if the altcoin market cap closes beneath 525 billion that is a major warning sign so that's all i've got for today my friends enjoy your weekend this is going to be the only update for me over the weekend I will see you probably back on Monday. If we do see this close beneath resistance, I will be coming out with all of the individual altcoin updates. I just really want to let the charts marinate for the next 24 to 48 hours, see where the weekly close is going to be, and then we'll take it from there. So enjoy your weekends, my friends. That's all I've got for today. If you do enjoy the content, make sure to let me know down below by leaving a like and a comment. Share the videos with your friends. If you want to further support the channel, feel free to click the join button and become a member today. Follow me over on Twitter at 618 underscore cowboy. It's been your boy Cowboy Trades. I'm out. Peace.